Hi everybody, hope all of you are doing great. Uh, I was just going to change the, the, not change, clean the nest boxes. So I thought why not make a video and show you guys as well. Uh, I might not show you the pairs, the parents, but uh, I will show you all the chicks which I've hatched and uh, yeah, might show you one or two pairs as well. So let's start with this one. He's by himself with a hand because in the last video I think uh, you did see that the hand she was attacking the chicks. So, but now I moved the hand out. So I've got three chicks here. They look quite healthy. So this one is a hen. She's a cinnamon grey hen. And uh, this one is a grey, so it has to be a male. Another one is a grey, so it has to be a male again. Because the father is a cinnamon uh, grey, so all the hens, they will be cinnamon. And the males, they will be normal as the hen. Uh, she was albino. So the male is going to be albino split and the cinnamon hen is just going to be cinnamon. At the moment the hen quality looks like the best one and then it's this male and then this one. This one might be he's younger that's why but uh, yeah. Uh, by the way uh, the parents of these chicks they're half brother and half sister. So yeah because the both uh, from the mother side, from sorry from the father side uh, they were different the parents. So that's why uh, they're completely different lines. So that's why the chicks are healthy. Otherwise, normally when you breed too close, uh, most of the time there are problems. But these chicks are quite healthy. There were five altogether, and now only three left. I think because of the hen, she wasn't really uh, a good mother. So now, it's the last two days they've been just with the father, so they look all right. So I'm going to put them here. Let me put this phone down, but you'll still be able to see from the other camera. And just take this out, the wood chip. And this thing that you need to check, like if it is too moist. If it's like very moist, the the concave, the wooden concave, then I normally change the concave as well. But at the moment it's not that bad. I will give it a clean uh, next time. But uh, yeah. So you put the wood chips in. Wood chips, how much you put in, it depends on the the age of the chicks. If the chicks are too young, don't put too much wood chips. Otherwise they can get sinked into the, the wood chips and die. So, but these chicks, they are quite uh, old, they're roughly at the moment they are around I'll say <clears throat> three weeks old so they're fine so the millet spray is still there even though the father is not eating this it's gonna start uh, uh, it's gonna make chicks to get familiar with this uh, uh, the seed and they might start eating by themselves a bit earlier so that's the first one. Let me grab the next one now. Now in the second one, I did show you in my last video that uh, the father is no longer he was in the nest box. But now here, this is a different thing. I'll show you now. So you see this nest box, uh, you see the, all the millet sprays, I did put two yesterday and both of them they've been consumed by the most likely some mother who is feeding it. So what she is doing instead of eating from the cage floor, she is consuming the food in the box. So I prefer these type of hands because the, uh, the male is not in the nest box and she is doing all the feeding thing by herself. So I think this is uh, important that uh, the hen which eats from the nest box and only go out uh, just to drink water. Uh, those hens, they are normally they are better mothers. So even though there's two chicks here, but I think even if they were up to four, he still would have done good. So let's see how they wood chips are. 
So this one is a hen, and this one is uh, a better quality. It looks like a hen again. So both of them, they're hens. This one looks like a cinnamon cobalt or cinnamon violet. I'll see. The later on. So as you can see here, it's not wet. So it's fine. So we didn't we don't need to change the concave. Just add the wood chip wood chip. And uh, because the mother she's been eating uh, from the the food in the nest box, so it's better to give her a couple of decent quality millet sprays and put the chick back in. So there you go, our nest box is ready to go back in. So let me put this one back. So she, the food on the cage floor, she hasn't even touched the millet sprays. She did eat the uh, the soft food, but not the millet sprays. So that's done. Then it's a baby here. Okay. Now this is another good hen. She is eating from uh, the millet spray in the box as well. So that's good. I don't normally, once the I take the milk spray out, which has been consumed a bit, I don't use that one again in the next box. I give this, I'm going to spray this with the F10, a disinfectant, and then give to the uh, the birds in the flight. So I normally don't put these ones back in the boxes. So what we have, we have a normal gray or cinnamon gray. And then I've got two recessive pies. These two are both of them the recessive pies. And this one is, uh, I can't really tell what it's going to be. So let's change there. I'm quickly going to ring one of the babies as well. He's old enough to get the get ring. So if I leave it another day or something like that, then it might get, his teeth get, uh, a bit too bigger for the wing. I think he's still kind of on the edge. Yeah, he's very kind of tight. So there you go. Looks like a hen as well. This other one from the marking, I can tell is going to be a male, but you never know. See these plastic nest boxes? They, you can see there's a bit of moisture in there. So what I do. All right, grab the disinfectant, spray that, and then wipe clean it. With the plastic nest boxes, you normally will see a moisture at the floor of the tray so you make sure that try your best to change the wood chips every day especially when the chicks are a bit older otherwise uh, it can cause uh, them to start getting ill because too much moisture is not good in the nest box okay That's enough because one baby is a bit young, so I'm not going to put too much wood chips in there. So first baby, second, third, there's another one. You give this one a fresh millet as well. I'm not going to put too many millet sprays because there's a pair in the cage. The male is obviously, the males normally they don't eat from the... Uh, from the, the food in the nest box, they normally eat from outside, so it's only hen. So the way I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it this way, so the, it's, it's a bit of uh, the wood chip here a bit deep, so the chick can't come out. Obviously the smaller ones, they won't be able to come out, but this chick can. 
Uh, he's old enough. Sometimes the chicks of this age, they can just jump out of the nest box. So that's how I'm going to do it. So let's do that. Make sure the hen and the male both are out. And that's how I do it. So this one is done. And then I've got babies here. I just tap on the the boxes before opening them. So the hen or the male, if they're inside, they know that uh, somebody's gonna open the box. Okay, beautiful. I've just got hen here. So she is kind of a average hen when it comes to rearing the chicks. I've got a very beautiful uh, cinnamon yellow face receptive pie that looks like a male. At the moment, you never know. It's a very beautiful color. And the other baby is going to be a yellow face as well, but it's going to be normal. Okay, take this milk spray out. Let me just quickly change that thing. Here you can see this is no wet because there are only two babies. And it's a hen by herself. It's still wiped. Okay. Give a little bit of wood chip. Give them a new millet spray. Put the babies back in. So there you go. All good. And check the female is not there. Put it back in. Close this. Okay, this one is I'm very excited about this nest box. Uh, one of my babies from one of my favorite pair. So what we have, we have uh, to me it looks like a gray baby. So it's a gray. Don't know if it's gonna be a male or female. Then this one looks like a cinnamon gray. Got the ring on, good. And this one is a normal gray again. Looks like. I hope it's not crest or something. I don't know why it's looking like crest to me. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So she is eating from the box as well. That's good. That in. I think these babies gonna be really, really good. Uh, obviously, when they feathered up a bit. I've got very high hopes from just uh, these three babies. It's kind of both of the parents, they are lesser, but they both go back to my main cinnamon gray line. So it's all looking good. There you go. The babies are healthy, it's been changed. It's all good. Okay, let's put them back in and get the next nest box. When you put the birds in, just be careful their flight or tail or head doesn't get trapped between tray and the nest box. Okay, let's go for the next one. This is done. Oh, I've got a one baby here, I think. Yeah, it's a one baby. It doesn't need to be changed. So it's a one fertile lag. Uh, I have left... Uh, let me shoot get the other camera. So I have left the uh, other, the one egg is fertile, but these two they're not fertile, but I left, that, left them there just to support the chick. So hen doesn't put too much weight on the chick, and uh, she is like kind of more comfortable when there are more eggs. So she can incubate the one, the fertile one properly. Put it back in. Let's grab the nest next box. This hen is the one of the lazy ones. She doesn't like coming out. See, she's sitting there. She always does it. So I need to make sure her tail doesn't get trapped or she doesn't get trapped 
between box and the tray. Uh, very excited about these ones as well. And I think I have hit the jackpot in a sense. This one looks like a dark factor. So the hand is a the hand is cobalt opaline and the male is a normal blue and I wanted to breed dark factors from this pair. This one looks like another dark factor. I don't know if I can focus properly on the tail feathers, but here you go. See? This one looks like a dark factor as well. And this is too young. Take them this way out. Let's clean the nest box. So the good thing is the nest boxes, they're not too wet, but this one looks like uh, it's a bit dirty. So I don't have a time, much time today, but what I can do, I will flip the concave upside down and then I will clean it a bit later on. So this is what I can do. Just flip it like this. So this side is dry, and then I can clean the other side when I get a bit more time. I've got more concaves uh, in my smaller shed. I may take them out a bit later on. Okay, that's enough. Put the little spray in. And that's how it is. Now these, this one is like too eager to come out. So just be careful, make sure the hand is out. I can show you that's what she does. You see, she's just hanging on the, the entrance and I need to basically move her out before I can push the nest box in. Otherwise her, her tail will get trapped. So that's the hand. So there you go, let's check this one, come on, okay I've got two chicks here, can't really tell the colors at the moment, but uh, hold on, yeah that's better, the two chicks here, both of them, uh, I don't know what color is this, looks like a grey, and then this one, it looks like a yellow face to me. I don't know, one needs to come a bit older. This one needs to be... Other one, got the ring. This one I forgot to put the ring on. We definitely need the ring now. So let's bring this baby. His feet have kind of gone a bit too big. That's what happened. Come on. That's it. Okay, he's done. See the orchid. A bit moist at the bottom. Okay, do these ones. Now when they are like over two weeks, I try to change the wood chips every day because uh, as you saw where the chicks are a bit older, it gets really moist in the nest box. So it's just to, for more hygiene, it's better to kind of clean it uh, every day. I think I've got one chick in this one. So here you go. So this is the only one chick here and uh, I knew that this chick is going to be really good so I left only one with the parents. She's going to be a super chick. 
Look at the face. You want to be a very good baby. And it looks very clean as well. So, because he's the only one reared by the parents, so he will be quite big in size as well. So very excited about this one. I'll, I need to clean this properly, but I'll do it a bit later on. For the time being, I can just cover it up with the wood chips. So yeah, very excited about this chick. She's gonna be one of the the better ones. Marshall, I really like this chick. I don't know if it's a hen or a cockbird. Let's see. Uh, it's like a cock working. I don't know. Okay, you can go back in. Now, what? Let me see if this hand has laid. Okay, first egg been laid from that albino hand whose male was missing, whose male died, the yellow face gray. So, let's see how it's gonna be. Uh, that's another one. This is a big nest. MashaAllah. Look at that. Look at the colors. So what I have here is very beautiful. That's a recessive pied. Excellent marking. Possibly it's going to be a male. This one looks like it's going to be a male as well. So MashaAllah. This one is a light green. Look at the baby. Really, really like them. This is one of my favorites. I like uh, light markings. Look at the baby's color. So, excellent quality. And it's going to be a look at the faces. Look at that. It's going to be a very, very good baby, inshallah. And this is a normal gray. Yeah. And this is the exciting one. <laughs> this is basically not there. It's a, uh, I moved it from the other pairing. So this one is going to be a turquoise. You can see the blue. Yellow face. It's going to be a turquoise blue recessive pied. Which normally you can call a yellow face. Type 2 yellow face recessive pied. And it looks like a male as well. Really excited about this one. And it's going to be a very good quality as well. I can tell from his face. Very excited about this uh, particular nest box so and the parents are very good as well they are feeding all the chicks properly and uh, yeah very happy with the results let's put the the yellow color in recessive pie looks very very impressive Especially if the marking is not very heavy, light mark, normal green or dark green birds, they look really, really impressive. So let's put them back. I should put two millet sprays in it, but because they are four big babies, so I don't want, want to get them cramped for a space. So let's do that. See, they all try to push themselves on the other side. And that's right. Now it's all good. Okay, this is the last nest box I've got the babies in. Wow. Now these are big, big mashallah babies. These are going to be a big bird. All three of them, they are very good quality birds. Especially this green one. And it's a dark green. Check the baby. Very impressive. Beautiful, excellent quality bird, and he is carrying a bit of violet as well. You can see from the legs, so it looks like a violet dark green. Then this one is uh, is going to be a hen. This is a hen, and it's uh, normal blue. Then I've got uh, another dark green recessive pied. Check the color. Excellent. I think all of these ones, they are violet, dark green, because the mother is a uh, violet cobalt cinnamon. It's going to be a hen as well. So two hens and a male. Uh, 
a very impressive nest block this one mashallah really really like it so and now it's the time to keep an eye on the these older chicks which are around over four weeks old because that's the time normally parents get irritated by them or start attacking them because the hen they want to lay again the problem with the exhibition bajiga is like they take a bit longer to come out of the nest box compared to the regular small budgies they take sometimes six weeks to come out of the nest box and uh, that's when all the these problems they start because the hens they want to lay again their breeding cycle is kind of the same similar to the normal budgies but the babies they take very long time to get ready and come out of nest box so that's the only kind of thing. Now you need to be very careful with these babies when they as i said when they are old so they don't kind of uh, get trapped between pay and the box so that's the hen i don't know if you can see or no she is uh, violet cobalt cinnamon opaline and the male is uh, a normal green but both obviously the male is split recessive as well so she's a very gentle hen normally she doesn't attack when you put your hands in that's a good sign that she's going to be gentle with the chicks as well so yeah so that's it uh it's been the recording is showing 26 minutes i'll try to uh add it in such a way that the video kind of becomes a bit uh, shorter yeah but that's uh, what it has hatched and the rest of the pairs they have got eggs or they are in a process of laying eggs and uh, yeah so like our next video i will try to show you individual pairing and their chicks and by that time the chicks are going to be a bit older as well so you'll get the idea that how the pairs look like look wise how the visually the birds are and how they have their chicks have turned into like or the, how the chicks look and i'll share a bit of pedigree as well because some of the pairs they're really not very special but their chicks are going to be very good so that's going to be all the results is going to be based on really on their bloodline so i'll share those things in the next coming upcoming video if you got any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments and uh, stay blessed i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye